This video demonstrates two adjustments that may be necessary on a PR or VH series dock leveler. Both the PR and VH series levelers are equipped with a fluid logic block. The logic block diverts fluid from the hoist cylinder to the lip cylinder when the platform is approximately one to three inches from full height. This action occurs when the cable and weight pull on the lever arm and shift the logic block spool valve. There are adjustments that can be made if you notice that your lip is not extending or extending too early. You can adjust the cable weight and its position relative to the lever arm to compensate for improper lip timing. The second adjustment that can be made on the logic block is the downspeed control. We will cover both adjustments in detail in this video. The first demonstration will involve the cable weight adjustment. If you notice the lip section fail to extend or extend too early, an adjustment might be necessary to the cable weight that is attached to the lever arm. Before making any adjustments, be sure to lock all electrical disconnects in the off position after raising the platform and engaging the maintenance prop. Barricade the work area at dock level and ground level to prevent unauthorized use of the equipment before maintenance is complete. It is important to correctly identify the model leveler you are working on, as the PR and VH have different logic lock configurations for lip operation. VH levelers have one cable and one lever arm that control lip operation. The PR series leveler has an optional dual lanyard control. If equipped, an additional cable and lever allow operation of the platform and lip function while standing on the platform. The first adjustment we will cover will be on the VH series leveler. Run the leveler through the complete operating cycle to determine the adjustment that is necessary. Remember that if the lip would not extend, shift the weight farther up the cable. If the lip is extending too soon, shift the weight down the cable. Make these adjustments in small increments until correct leveler performance is observed. Before adjusting the cable weight, it is recommended that you attach a locking pliers to the end of the cable. This will prevent the weight from sliding off the cable while you make the adjustment. Loosen the set screws using an eighth inch hex key. Then reposition the weight and tighten the screws. The second common adjustment involves setting the correct platform down speed. The down speed is the amount of time it takes for the platform to go from full height to the below dock position. An acceptable range is 9 to 13 seconds. Depending on operating environment and equipment, the adjustment may be closer to either end of this range. The PR and VH series dock levelers are equipped with velocity fuses in the hoist cylinder. The velocity fuse acts as a check valve, which will block the hoist cylinder return line in the event of a change in fluid flow or pressure. If the downspeed setting is too fast, the fluid flow will cause the velocity fuse to halt the platform. This can occur if the rate of descent is too high, improper fluid is used, or the ambient temperature is too low. To adjust the downspeed, verify that correct fluid is used in the system. For a list of approved fluids, reference the owner's manual. Once we've verified that the correct fluid is in the system, adjust the downspeed control on the logic block. Run the dock leveler through the complete operating cycle to determine the downspeed. With the leveler on the maintenance prop, locate the downspeed adjusting screw on the logic block. The screw is directly behind the front upper hose connection. Place the 7 16 box end wrench over the jam nut and hold the 8 inch set screw in place while loosening the jam nut. This way you do not lose the previous adjustment. To decrease the lowering speed, turn the adjusting screw in the clockwise direction. To increase the lowering speed, turn the set screw in the counterclockwise direction. Make sure to hold the set screw in place and tighten the jam nut down so that you do not lose the adjustment. Run the dock leveler through the complete operating cycle to determine whether or not the downspeed is correct. Make these adjustments in small increments until correct leveler operation is observed. 
In this section, we will cover the cable weight adjustment on a PR series dock leveler. Note that on the PR series, the cable and weight interact with a frame weldment rather than directly pulling on the lever arm. The adjustment is similar to a VH in that you will still change the position of the weight on the cable up or down to control lip timing. It just doesn't directly act on the lever arm. That's because the logic block is actually mounted up in the platform in the channels. A feature of the PR series dock leveler is the optional dual lanyard control. The lanyard control allows operation of the dock leveler while standing on the platform. If the PR is equipped with this feature, there are two cables that are hanging underneath the platform. One will have a larger weight without set screws because there is no adjustment for this feature. While making the cable weight adjustment for lip operation, be sure to adjust the correct cable weight. This weight is smaller and will have the set screws already installed. Use a locking pliers to prevent the weight from sliding off the cable during the adjustment. With the pliers in place, loosen the set screws and reposition the weight accordingly. With the weight in the correct position, tighten down the set screws and remove the vice grip. Run the leveler through the complete operating cycle and verify correct operation. If the operation is still not correct, continue to adjust the weight in small increments until correct operation is observed. This section will cover the downspeed adjustment on a PR series dock leveler. Similar to the VH, you want to locate the logic block and its downspeed adjustment screw. On the PR series dock leveler, the logic block is accessed through the access cover on the top of the deck. With that cover removed, you can see the logic block and the set screw which adjusts the downspeed. It uses the same 7 16 inch jam nut and the same 8 inch set screw in the center. With the 7 16 box end wrench on the jam nut, insert your allen into the set screw and hold it in place. Loosen the jam nut to make your adjustment and then turn the set screw in the center. Again, counterclockwise will increase the downspeed and clockwise will reduce the downspeed. Once your adjustment is set, hold the set screw in place using your Allen wrench and tighten down the jam nut. Once your adjustment is made, operate the leveler through the complete operating cycle and verify correct operation. After you've made your adjustments and verified correct leveler operation, be sure your set screws and jam nuts are tight so that you don't lose the adjustments. Remember that when the ambient temperature is low, decreasing your downspeed may help the leveler perform correctly. With that said, this concludes our logic block adjustment video. Thank you for watching and we hope you found it helpful.